Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Joe Tyler Reefing and my Waterbox 30.2 Marine All-in-One build. Today I got something in from marinedepot.com and my cat is going crazy. She wants to be in this box, but I thought I would do a little unboxing for you and then we'll get this installed. So if you're looking to do the same thing, um, this is how I'm going to do it. But uh, let's open this up. Here is the Aqua Ultraviolet Hang On Back UV Sterilizer. This is the 15 watt version. So let's open it up and see what we have inside. Nice bubble wrapping. Now, this is the actual sterilizer itself or the housing for it. Um, this right here is going to be your sterilizer bulb and then you have your power supply. So what we're going to do is open this up, see what this bulb looks like. I think I have to open up both ends here. So the bulb comes nice and packaged and uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, it actually is broken. So I'm gonna have to contact Marine Depot and uh, figure out how to get a new one of these. But stay tuned, what we'll do is install this and uh, go from there. All right, everyone. So I thought this bulb was broken because there's a couple of like beads uh, moving around in here, but I did plug it in and as you can see it is working. So we are in business I don't have to reach out to customer service and uh, Let's get this on the tank. Stay tuned All right, everyone. So I have the aqua ultraviolet 15 watt UV sterilizer installed hanging off the back of my water box 30.2 I am using a half inch vinyl tubing and that tubing is hooked up to a CJ Synchro Silent 1.0 in there. That pump pushes 251 gallons per hour so it is a perfect flow rate for this sterilizer. Now I'm going to show you what I have right back here. There is the Aqua Ultraviolet Sterilizer. The one cool thing about this sterilizer is it's perfect for all-in-one aquariums because this barb, which is a half inch barb, actually can rotate so it faces upwards. Now, all the pictures and videos that you see on the sterilizer, the barb is facing down going into like a canister filter. So, um, I called customer care. They said that barb can face up, so that makes it perfect for all-in-one aquariums, in my opinion. Now, what I'll do is I'll turn this on and then we'll see the water coming out of the spigot. So stay tuned. All right, so I have the UV sterilizer turned on. As you can see, the water is flowing really good out of there. The one thing I wanna try to do is come up with a way where I can extend that spigot so it goes in the water so it's not so loud because it sounds like a fountain here. That is one of the only drawbacks. I could put it in here, but um, the water just splashes everywhere and it really would re defeat the purpose, you know, because um, it's just gonna cycle its own sterilization. Now, if we go back over here, I don't know if you can see back there, but the light is on. So they have a quartz sleeve back there. 
that way you can check on it every once in a while just to make sure that it is still on and working and then if it's not obviously you're gonna have to get a replacement bulb but um, yeah I just wanted to show you how I installed this sterilizer on the back of my aquarium and um, we'll see how it goes I will try to come up with a way to extend this nozzle I might have to get you know maybe some one and a half inch tubing and see if I can cut it and fit it up there and make it go down below my water level so that way it's silent. The other option is I might be able to get somebody to 3D print me um, something that will clip on to this spigot here. So we'll see, but um, I just wanted to show you how I installed this on my water box 30.2. Hopefully it helps you out. Um, and please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. All right, everyone. So I thought I was gonna end the video, but I think I solved the noise issue from the UV sterilizer. I just cut about a five inch piece of half inch vinyl tubing and jammed it up there and uh, it cut down the noise significantly. So. I just wanted to throw that in here. Y'all have a great one. Bye-bye. <laughs>